Okay, so I'm um, currently running a test on Hex, my heat exchanger. So in here I have uh, 50 litres, uh, sorry not 50 litres, 15 litres of water that I'm just reticulating around through Hex just to see what, uh, how long it takes for the temperature um, to be transferred. Got hooked up to my control panel. Currently pulling 8.2, 8.3 amps. Uh, this is the PID that is controlling the electric element that's inside here. This electric element is heating up the water and the water is transferring the heat into the copper tube that's inside which has the beer running for it, well the make-believe clear beer running for it. So on my control panel I've got my pump light working so I know that the pump's working. There's the pump down here and it's this little pump. Uh, this is a um, little solar water pump. It's made out of the same materials that a March pump's made out of. It has 2.5 meter head and it's rated up to 110 degrees. So it's just as good as a March pump, but it takes 12 volts. Actually, it takes anywhere between 6 and 24 volts and you can hook it up to a solar panel and it will adjust itself to run. So, very good little pump. Best thing about it, Instead of, it, instead of it costing 250 bucks, it only costs 50 bucks. So I can afford to put a pump everywhere where I want to put a pump. And it's got a very good flow rate, works extremely well. So, back to the temperatures. This temperature here, I'm just using this PID as a um, gauge to see what my mash temperature is. And it's just with this probe that's in here. So this is just a monitor to see how long it takes the water flowing through to heat up the 15 litres to the desired um, heating volume. So we we'll just let this run. I want to bring this water up to 50 degrees. So at the moment it's heating it up to 44 degrees, 44.1, 44.3, and slowly increasing the volume temperature of this water. So everything seems to be working nicely on here. Got a timer working. Um, Let's actually give an emergency stop a test. They worked. Pump stopped. The light's still on, but there's no light to the power. The amps are gone off, so that's good. That shows that everything works. Start it back up again. Everything goes. Cool. Okay, we'll come back once we're done. Oh, I got my temperature just about right. Uh, we're at 50 degrees, it stopped at 50 degrees because that's what I wanted it to stop at. So the PID has um, leveled itself out. And over here we're floating around the 4.8, uh, 49.8, 49.7. So I'm losing a little bit of heat um, from where it comes out of the tap into the mash in there. So what I want to do now is I want to increase this to my mash temperature of 60, 68 and reset the timer and set and I just want to see how long it takes to raise this temperature here up to 68 degrees. So time is going. Heat's on. Starting to heat up a little bit. Pulling 8.2 amps. Let's see how it goes. And we'll come back and see what the time's at. Okay, we've uh, reached temperature. Uh, PID's overshot by 1.2. Um, but it's done that because we haven't brought this all the way up to the 68 degrees yet and our time is just on 20 minutes so we've managed to just about reach just on 68 degrees um, uh, 15 litres of water has been raised to 68 degrees in 20 minutes so I'd say that's a good test works for me some steam coming off this is quite warm once I get some insulation around that, that'll be interesting. And see how um, how well the temperature stays. But yeah, 
uh, working well. Quite pleased with that. There we go, we've hit our 68. This bit settled down now and it should just uh, keep it running around the 68 degree mark.